guys! As you can see, I have absolutely no makeup now, which means it's gonna be a get ready with me today. Uh, I'm going out tonight for karaoke with uh, three of my really good friends, so now I have to get ready and get going. Uh, first, I have done my skincare pretty early in the morning already, so now it's kind of drying out already. So let's put on some moisturizer. I'm using the Kiehl's uh, Ultra Facial Moisturizer. Uh, this is a really good day moisturizer, and I love the um, I love the cream version as well. I use that a lot at night. So putting some on my face. Oh, and I have already put in my contact lens. I don't know where to put this pair. Okay, and I want my face to be more glowy today. Well, today I actually want to go for a more um, glowy, spring-inspired kind of look. Although it's actually pretty chilly today, I think. It's around like 12 degrees. I'm not sure. Oh, never mind. Now it's actually pretty, pretty warm. It's 19 degrees. I'm kind of set on the color with purple and pink. Uh, I want my face to be a little bit more glowy, so I'm using my MAC Strip Cream. This is in the shade Silver Light. I'm just gonna put a little bit as um, like kind of a highlighting, highlighting effect using my Equal to Sponge. So for foundation, I am using the one that I'm using a foundation that I haven't used in a while, which is the Revlon Color Stay um, for normal to dry skin. I'm in the shade. This is a little too light. This is um, 110 Ivory, and then I'm mixing it with number seven Lift and Luminate Foundation in what's the shade? What's the shade? A warm ivory. Yeah. I'm just gonna dot it all over my face and then just blend it with my. I'm about to concealer. For concealer, I'm going to be using. Oh, where did my concealer go? Oh, here. Um, I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I'm in the shade C2. Um, I mentioned it in my favorites video that it is um, not as high coverage as the Tarte Shape Tape, but it is more hydrating. It's not as mattifying. I'm gonna use the ColourPop um, No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral to conceal my spots. I'll be moving on to powder. I'm gonna powder my face a little bit with a red and new powder. This is the Studio Water Weight Powder from MAC. I'm in the shade Extra Light. I'm gonna use a really big fluffy brush. I got this when I was in Thailand years ago. So I'm just gonna use this brush to powder my face. Um, this powder is really smooth, but um, and also, it doesn't leave a matte finish on your face. It is um, a rather natural looking powder. So I think it's good for dry skin, but if you have oily skin and if you are expecting this powder to control your oil, it's not gonna work. It just leaves a really nice um, natural finish. What else? 
Uh, let's move on to brows. I actually haven't picked out my lipstick yet as well because I usually choose my lipstick after I get changed and do my hair. Oh, I forgot to clean contour. I powder already. I was gonna do clean contouring today. It, in the shade Peach Almond, it is a pretty good contouring shade. It is a little bit pinkier, but um, I, I can work with it. But I powdered, so not today. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna use a smaller mirror. That big one is pretty tiring to hold. I I can't. I I lost the other end because magically all these kind of brow pencils, the spoolie end will break in my makeup bag for some reason. I don't know why, but. Well, now I'm gonna do the front bit with a powder. I'm using the Kate um, Brow Powder. This is a really famous item. I'm gonna use my angle brush. This is the MAC 266. And then I'm gonna set them with a brow gel. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set in shade Quiet. Quiet brunette. Okay, finally done with my brows. Now I'm gonna contour my nose. I'm gonna use my angled brush from Sigma. This is the medium, medium. This is E70 medium angled shading. Now it's already 25, uh, 25 minutes and 30 seconds and I'm still not doing my eyeshadow yet. This is how slow I am when I'm talking. I, I just talk so much. And the same thing goes with my essay. I'm writing I, like, um, uh, there's an essay that it's like 1500 words and I'm on my second point and I'm already at the thousand words. <laughs> like I talk way too much. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush to blend out the contour. I'm using the Sigma E40 blending brush. I cannot see the writing on it. Okay, finally we can move on to eye makeup. Let's see if I can zoom you guys a little closer. Hold on. Yes, okay. Um, now I'm gonna move on to my eyes. I don't know which... I'm gonna put this color as my base color. Um, this is uh, MAC Powder Blush in Full of Joy. It is just a lavender color. It's a frost finish, so it has the sheen inside as well. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush to put it as my base color. This is just a really flat and fluffy shadow brush. I'm gonna pick this color up. And then I'm gonna use it as the base color. Oh no, no you know what? I need to I need to prime my eyes. Yes, I'm gonna use my MAC uh, 24 hour extended eye base. Using a flat um Using a fluffy brush like this um, is that the color wouldn't apply too pigmented. Um, instead, it has more like a light wash of color. After this, I'm gonna use um, a darker purple eyeshadow. This is in this free my eyeshadow uh, in the shade Shimmer 20. Um, it is a pretty, it's a darker, like a lavender shimmery color. I'm gonna place this color with the same brush, but a little bit closer to my lash line. So I'm not blending it as high. For 
for this look, I'm not gonna use eyeliner because I feel like it's better to keep these colors soft and romantic rather than lining my eyes. I'm gonna do it like pink and purple because I recently, I recently just read a magazine and then I saw someone do pink and purple eye like top is being purple and the bottom is pink I think it looks quite pretty okay, so for the pink part um, I'm gonna do it on my lower lash line first I'm gonna set a pretty light color this is um, again a blush a pow uh, pro long wear blush in the shade rosy outlook I'm gonna place this shade on, on my lower lash line going to put a more pigmented blush. This is Wet n Wild uh, Color Icon Blush in the shade... What is the shade name of this blush? I think I ripped it. I can't find the shade name here. As I remember, this is pearlescent pink. can't really remember, but it's um, just a pink blush. This is pretty similar to NARS Orgasm blush. I'm gonna use a pencil brush. I'm taking my pencil brush from Sigma. And then I'm using Clinique Ginger Pop. It's more like a corally pink color. Oh yeah, this is more pink. This is more like the color that I was looking for. And then after this, uh, to have, give my eyes a little bit more of uh, dimension, I'm gonna use um, ColourPop uh, Super Shock Shadow in Waddles. I'm gonna put it at the very outer corner of my low lash line to um, deepen up my makeup look a little bit. I think Waddles is a really good shade to have if you like pinkish brown eye makeup. Okay, after this, the pink eyeshadow is basically done. I'm gonna intensify the purple a little bit more on my on my upper eye, on my eyelid. Um, I'm gonna use this uh, dark dark lavender color from Innisfree. I actually have even darker colors. And then, um, let me see. I want to put some sparkle, so I'm going to take my Golden State of Mine Shadow Palette from ColourPop. Mm, I'm going to place this shade. This is Watch Out here. Watch Out at the inner corners of my eyes. really glittery color. I, th I feel like almost all the shades in the Golden State of Mine palette is pretty glittery. And then on top of it, I'm gonna take the shade uh, in the middle, the first roll in the middle. This shade is GRLFRN Diesel Girlfriend, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna take this shade because it has a uh, iridescent purple shift to it. So I'm gonna place it on top by the glittery like brightness of it yeah so that's basically it uh, so with this eye look I'm not gonna use any eyeliner and I'm not gonna darken up my uh, uh, lash line as well I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put on mascara so um, it takes a really long time for me to curl my lashes actually but I, I'll try to do it on camera so that you guys can see uh, I'm using my Shiseido uh, eyelash curler As I was filming, I think my uh, my my camera just died, and then now I have actually finished curling my eyelashes, 
and then I put on some of the Kate Lash Maximizer. But now I'm going to curl my lower lashes with the heating curler. This one is just a really cheap one that I got from drugstore. You can use any one that you have. So I'm just gonna curl my lower lashes. Then I'm gonna curl my upper lashes with it too. Curl a little bit more. Okay, after this I'm gonna put on my mascara. I'm using my Hirani Make Long, Long and Curl Mascara at Fonts Film in the shade number 2. This is a brown mascara. It's like a rosy brown color that I really like. So whenever I want a softer eye makeup look, and then I'll go for a brown mascara. Then I'll pick up this one. I'll use this one because I really like it. I already bought it back up. Lower lashes. I'm gonna curl my upper lashes once again with the heating curler. Okay, so I'm finally done curling my lashes. I'm gonna move back onto my face, so I'll zoom you guys out. Let you guys have a closer look to my eye makeup after I'm done with everything. Oh my gosh, my legs all oh, stretched out. Oh, oh, it hurts. First, I'm gonna contour my face a little bit. Um, where's my contouring powder? I'm gonna use a really natural contouring powder. This is my contouring powder from Innisfree in the shade number one. It is the lightest one that they have and it has more of a yellowy undertone, which I like because I don't really like super reddish tone of bronzy contouring powder. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of my ColourPop bronzer in shade Private Party. I'm just gonna use a very little bit of it to warm up my complexion a little bit. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it. I, I have this brush because um, I bought a set long time ago when it's a Christmas set and it comes with it. That's why I have such a luxury brand um, brush. I'm just gonna place a very little bit. Okay, that's done. And then I'm gonna do my blush. With blush I have, I'm, I wanna um, match it with my eye makeup. So first I'm gonna use Full of Joy as a base color. I'm gonna take a really big blush. This is the Elf Complexion Brush. so it's not like a densely packed brush and I'm gonna use should I use ginger pop? Should I use wet and wild I think wet and wild is a little too dark for this look I'm gonna use a little bit of ginger pop Luminoso looks pretty good but Luminoso has a pretty strong golden orange tone and ginger pop is coral but it has more like a pinky and then today I think a really intense highlighter will look pretty good so I'm gonna take a uh, flexitarian from color pop uh, from color pop.
So that's it for my makeup. Um, I really like it. I want to intensify the pink a little bit more. I don't know why it's not that pink. Let me see if I have a pink here intensified. Oh, I do. Okay, let's use this. Um, I'm gonna intensify my uh, look a little bit with a ColourPop eyeshadow and Poodle, which is a very intense hot pink. Oh yeah, I think that works. I'm just gonna place it at the outer corners because if I use do it all the way, it'll be too intense. Okay, that's it for my makeup look. I'm gonna do my lips later. Now let me uh, go pick up my outfit and I will do my hair. So, hold on. Okay, so I just got changed. I will uh, show you guys the um, outfit later. But uh, now I need to fix my hair and then put on some lipstick. But before that, I think I want to spray my face with a uh, facial spray. Hold on. The, my mini fix plus I, ha I I love fix plus but I haven't got a full size in a while and I got this little one um, in the scent of rose so I'm gonna do this uh, dry it out it's gonna make all the powder melts in better and my makeup will look a little bit more natural and glowy. I'm gonna curl my hair, so I'll be using this curling wand. This is um, a really affordable one that I got from Taiwan. I wanna do bigger curls, so this is 32 mm. I actually have been missing my um, gray hair. I kinda wanna do it, but I don't wanna damage my hair, so I might wait after the wedding to do it again. I'm kind of thinking about what lipstick to use. Oh, but uh, I will first show you guys my eye makeup when my um, curling wand is heating up. This is how my eye makeup looks. So it's uh, like a pastel purple on the eyelid, and then uh, down there is more like a pinkish eyeshadow. Yeah, the lighting is kind of washing me out a little bit, but I have a pretty intense blush. So now I have to think about my lipstick. Basically, my hair done. Yeah, earrings. So I'm wearing a the pink denim jacket today. So I want my yeah, earrings to be a little more cute style. Yes. I don't know. Should I do pink earrings. Pinks. I think pink earrings will match pretty well. Or the heart. I mean, I like them. They're cute. They're a little heavier, but they're cute. Maybe I'll do the heart actually. The uh, hearts. It's like a pearl heart. I like it. So for my base, I'm gonna use my Dior lip glow in the shade um, number ten, Holo Pink. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of MAC uh, Lip Tensity Lipstick in Marsala. This is like a purpley color. I'm gonna place it at the very center of my lips. So it creates more like a gradient look to it. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of Dazzle Glass to intensify the glitter and the holo pink a lip balm a little bit more at the center. This is a really sticky lip gloss though, so if you don't like sticky glosses, you're gonna hate it. I completely forgot that I should be showing you guys my makeup first. 
So, okay, again, this is my eye makeup. And then my lips. It's just a really pinky, glossy lips. So it's not too special, but I think the color is really fun. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. Now. I don't know how am I supposed to show you guys my outfit, but um, uh, there you go. It's a uh, pink denim jacket, and this pink den uh, this denim jacket is from Zara. My T-shirt is from Brandy Melville, and my skirt is from uh, Style Nanda. So yeah, this is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All the products that I used and all my social media will be linked down below in the description box. So make sure you go check it out. So. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!